today I'm going to explain um, how to download a video, put it in YouTube, and make sure that only you and the people you're sharing the link with can see it, and then how to put that into Google Classroom. So this is the video, one of the Moo videos, and I click here and just direct download, and so I'm downloading that video. Then I'm going to go ahead and while it's downloading, I'm going to hop over to YouTube and here it says create a video and more. So this is through my Google account that I already have a YouTube account. So you probably have a YouTube account as well, even if you're not using it. So then I'm going to go ahead and click on upload video and then it will take me to the next screen. And in the next screen, it'll say drag and drop a file that you want to upload. So I will select this. I will upload it. And then once it is uploaded, it'll start to ask me questions. So I'm going to title it the video that I want to do. And then if you'd like to do a description, you can. When you scroll down here, make sure you click on yes, it's made for kids so that your students aren't blocked from seeing it and then click on next. I don't do any video elements. And visibility, this is another key part. So I wanna make sure it is unlisted. If I click public, then I'm sharing it with anyone that wants to search in YouTube. If you can see it's unlisted, is anyone with the video link can see my video, but no one can actually search for it. And then I'm gonna click, so um, before I do that, the video link, so right now YouTube is processing the video, which is why you don't see it, but you can still copy the video link. So I'm gonna copy that video link and then I'm gonna click on save. So close, um, and then I'm gonna pop over to my test class. And over in um, my test class, I'm going to go to classwork to assign if I want my students to do that and then create an assignment. And so I will say watch this video for instructions and then I'll click on add and I will pop in the link for the YouTube. So then that will take students right to YouTube. They don't have to download anything and it should play pretty well. And then I can click on assign. And so with that, your students should have access to the video. I hope that this has been helpful.